Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Brian if you're new around here and what we'll be doing today is actually my ultimate setup for New Worlds controller support. Now I actually in the description and probably even in the comments of this video will have the link to the Steam profile so that's going to help save you all kinds of settings. Now just as a highlight if you guys are ever concerned or ever kind of questioning controller configuration you can press shift and tab and that can bring you up to your setup itself. While I won't be doing an in-depth view of basically this tool, if you guys would like a guide on how to can, you know, play around with the Steam controller setup configuration, just let me know. However, you can browse for this or you can just use the link in the description and that's gonna get you the profile so you'll see everything listed here, but it's not all one and done. I do things just a little bit differently. And if you don't think these next steps, you're gonna have a little bit of a difference in how things work. And that comes down into your key bindings. We're gonna go over this real quick for you. In the swap active weapons, I have that bound to the, I guess the apostrophe or the tilde. Uh, you can see that here. That's essentially the key that is above tab and left of the one. Uh, sometimes my brain doesn't work and that's just how it works there. I've got weapon one and two. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through consumable four. Ability one is Q, ability two is E, and ability three is R. And then my interact is F, secondary interact is T, and give up is E. Uh, this is very important that you've got this set up the exact same way that I do. Otherwise, my controller profile might give you a little bit of grief. But from there, you can you can just modify it to what you want it to work. I like to have it this way. This is just my personal preference. I've got auto run set to minimal, uh, minimal <laughs> middle mouse button. Uh, crouch toggle set to C. Uh, prone toggle set to Z. Walk is holding down. I think uh, the B or one of the buttons, either way. <laughs> Jump traverse is still space. Move forward, A, S, A, uh, W, S, D, pretty much for moving. I do have fishing uh, set up in here as equip bait uh, F4 and toggle fishing mode F3. That's gonna be something very important. And then you have the toggle self heal. This actually controller configuration will help you with self heal. Now, just kind of scrolling so that way you guys can look at the screen to see if there's anything that I might've missed. But overall, this should be pretty much what you need. Left control is holding for self heal, exit auto target, middle mouse button, cycle target up is set to right, cycle target down is set to left. That's also gonna work on your D pads uh, as well. So uh, everything else should be by default the standard, but again, you you know, you can see if there's any changes that you need to make or you can ask me uh, below. What that actually translates into, like if I hold the controller here, you can see here I can move with the right uh, the right stick. I can move the camera with the left stick. If I press tab, I'll come into my inventory. So if I want to salvage this item, I can like press left bumper and then I can right click on that. You can see here I move the right stick within this mode. And then if I press tab again, or like the select button again, then I'm back into the main game. Start's gonna bring me up to my map and back and forth. Now, there are a few changes, a few bug fixes since I've, I've made since my last Ultimate Controller Guide. Namely, if I come in here, I disabled the left and right bumpers uh, because that was causing some kind of grief with the game. And this is obviously updated as of March, 2022, April, 2022 with the 1.6 update. But let me kind of walk you through some of the things that you can kind of pay attention to and how ultimately the game works. Now, if I hold down the up button, the right stick now becomes my kind of panel. Now, I don't actually have any potions equipped, but I can hold down the down into the left and actually use food down into the right to use my slot four, six slot up and then right. You can see here kind of like triggering the different uh, items to use and then up into the up in the left is actually cancel out of that mode holding down on the left button will allow me to use this uh, right stick as a zoom. You can let go and then it'll be back to normal mode. Holding R uh, or right on the D-pad will actually put me into fishing mode. Holding up will allow me to actually equip my bait. I tried to make this as useful as possible without you going to keyboard and mouse, but being that you're on PC, this is a PC only game, you will still have access to keyboard and mouse. You can hold right to exit fishing mode as well. So there's some of the easy quick access features that you'll have when playing. Now let's go ahead and show you guys a few things you can do again with the with the gamepad and more. If you uh, remember how we changed to interact to F, you can hit press the X button and that's going to allow you to interact with any of the objects on the screen. Y is going to allow you to swap your weapon only if you do that, that, <laughs> that tilde or that apostrophe. And thus you can kind of come in here and then using the right stick and the left stick will allow you to fire, uh, to use your, your arms and defend. So if I was going to tag this enemy, 
I can do so. I can hold down left trigger to block. Sometimes you find yourself having to double press the left bumper to use your uh, Q skill, but right bumper and then holding down on the right bumper will allow you to use those different skills uh, accordingly. So if I swap to my weapon here, I can start firing it. I can still use these skills and start putting out some damage and probably get my butt kicked here as I'm trying to do this while talking. Now let's go and talk about dodging. As you can see here, I can press down on the left stick to dodge. Now, if I've entered into a death screen, I can actually just press R bumper uh, once to actually go ahead and give up and I can choose to go ahead and respawn. Obviously, sometimes you're going to want to just use a keyboard and mouse to kind of select things on the screen itself, but that will give you the best benefit of it. You can press A to jump. You can actually hold down A to set up a camp. And now I can go ahead and interact and actually apply the resources. It doesn't look like I've got the flint to finish off the camp itself, but let's go ahead and see if we can find some flint while we're doing a test. Perfect. I love that they have flint occasionally by the roadside. You can hold down F. Boom, camp is now placed. I can double tap to actually bring up the T menu in this case for the camp tier. If you ever get into trouble, you can actually hold down B to enter into kind of the, just the general world mode. And if you're playing in big picture mode, there's additional information like on the, in, the, in the course of the wheel. Uh, if you hold down up, it will actually present a wheel with the different items for you, but you have to play in big picture mode. So pressing, let's see, we built a camp. Uh, that was why I can actually hold down B to kind of go into that crouch or that prone. I can double tap B to actually go into crouch mode. Uh, so that works out real well. I can hold down Y to actually sheath my weapon as well. So at its core, I think this should give you the basics for everything you want to be doing in this game and being able to interact and farm up various different items to be able to play very comfortably uh, with the world itself. So... You also, if you ever find yourself in trouble, you can press start and press start again. That will always return you back into world mode. And that's going to be something that ends up helping you out dramatically. So you can see here very, very easy to do your various different skills and abilities when playing. And this character is obviously much easier to fight while talking and doing a guide if I could actually aim. The blast and finish them off. And so, if there's anything that ever dropped, you could actually just again press X to pick it up and interact with it. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, this has been a help for you. Hopefully, you got something good out of the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say auto run, press down on the left stick, and that's going to be your auto run because I mapped it to middle mouse button. Some of this stuff will allow you to map it any which way you want. Uh, and so again, let me know if there's anything I can do to make your experience with playing New World on a controller easier and more convenient. And with that, I'm going to wrap up. If you guys feel like you got something good out of this video, like, favorite, subscribe, and share all the standard YouTube stuff. This is a dedicated New World channel. So if you like New World or like New World content, this is what you're going to find here. If you guys want any more MMO and video game content, you can always check out my Ginger Prime channel as kind of my main channel as yeah, that's how it is. So thanks guys so much for your time. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with a clam. And I'm glad you're feeling better. Ooh.